All right, guys, I am so excited about this topic. It is something that I feel I've mastered. I love teaching, and I just can't wait to share with you my four quick tips on how to build your business in 30 minutes while drinking your glow juice. Um, my team is Team Glow Diggers, so that is where that comes from, but really drinking your Energize. You guys know you drink it 20 to 30 minutes before you work out, so to me that means you have 20 to 30 minutes of solid time where you can just crush your business. So just to introduce myself, my name is Danielle Jakubowski. I am in Philadelphia. I currently am a three-star diamond lifetime. I have hit Success Club 10 for, I've been a SC10 legend. I've hit Success Club for, I think this is month 52 in a row for me, so I've been a coach for almost five years, probably taking the business seriously for the last three, and I work the business part-time. So I'm a full-time architectural designer, and then I've worked the business part-time every single year that I've been a coach. Um, I think it's also important to note that those accolades, while they're great, I mean, I've been on for success club trips, I've been recognized on stage at Summit, all the great things that you want to push and work for and they're so worth it. But I also want you to know these accolades because these accolades have helped me be a better leader, be a better coach, push myself outside my comfort zone to actually build a team. So my original coach is no longer my original coach. So I feel you if you're that way. Um, my team has missed four star diamond by one person the last week of qualification. My team has also missed premiere by 24 hours the last day of the year. So I know what it's like to be in that place of like, how do I freaking do this? I feel like I don't have time. I feel like nothing's working for me. And so hopefully I can give you some great tips to get over your damn self and know that this is a roller coaster ride. And you have to go from day to day with the same enthusiasm, regardless of what's going on with anybody else, because you care so deeply about helping people. My team is my best friends. And I do this continuously to push myself outside my comfort zone to grow as a person, but to also help as many women as possible do that same thing. That's more fired up in my soul than a rank. While yes, that's important. And yes, I love recognition. I also think it's really important for you to remember why you're doing this and to lead with that intention all the time. Cause it's easy to be like, all right, check, check, check. I got my success club tracker done and it's done. But why are you doing the things? Okay. So when you go into these activities that I tell you guys, it's got to be from the heart, all right? So tip number one is you have to constantly have new eyes on your posts. You've probably heard this from your coach a lot, but it's kind of like a funnel, right? I get all the time, I have nobody to talk to. I talk to all my friends. Y'all, most of my team right now is people I've never even met before. They found me on Instagram. I found them on Facebook. They're literally, I've traveled internationally with them. We've done road trips together and they've never been in my life before. We sought out each other. So you have to take the initiative because what I always tell my team is the fear you have of reaching out to somebody and being their friend is way less scary than somebody who is overweight, than somebody who feels lonely, that somebody is really unhealthy, that somebody who feels like they're really stuck. That is a hard place to be. And you sending a message could change somebody's life. So things that I do, I recently moved back to Philadelphia from Atlanta. And so I thought about, okay, I want to build a team here locally because I want to be around my girls. And so I looked up all the Philly blogs. Now, not bloggers, but things like um, You Wish You Knew or Thrillist or Curbed. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you probably have local blogs that you need to just GTS, Google that shit and figure out where is around you because that's, I'm sorry, I'm tough love. I'm just warning y'all. But like, Use those accounts on Instagram. So I literally search them and I go to the people that have liked those posts, things that I like. For example, in Philadelphia, I love Morgan's Pier. I love being on the waterfront. I love anything to do with being outside, having a cocktail, being with friends. So I want to find girls that like to do the same things as me. So I go to those pictures and I look who's liked at that, liked on those posts and I go to their page and I 531 them. Okay. So if it's somebody I instantly am like, I want to be friends with that girl. 
I don't think about it for a minute. I think about it for a second and I go like five photos, comment on three with like a genuine comment like, oh my gosh, where's that dress from? I love it. Or your dog is the cutest. What kind do you have? Something that's going to engage conversation and then I follow them. And what is that going to do? They're going to then be like, oh my gosh, this girl gave me 10 freaking likes. That's amazing. Who is she? I want to know more about her. They go to my page and we'll talk about that in a second, but I know I'm putting out content every single day consistently. So they're going to come to my page and be like, dang, this girl's more positive. Oh, she's doing something with friends that looks like what I would want to do. She's local to me. Um, she's also on some sort of journey that she lost a lot of weight and she looks really healthy. I, I want more of that in my life. So you have to create the funnel though, because people aren't going to come to you. You have to search out your tribe. And that is not weird. Like everybody wants more friends. So I go to Instagram with the intention of who's going to be my next best friend. All right. So I also do this with friends of friends. So when I start adding a lot of Philly girls, naturally, they're going to have Philly girls on their pages. So I'm going to look at their posts and who's liking their posts and go through and find people like that. So my goal is 20 new people a day during the week. And that means it takes time and effort, right? Like this business is time and effort, but spend 10 minutes a day and do it like twice throughout your day. Um, the other great way to find new people is geotags. So I have a list, a note in my phone of places that I love, um, wedding ven venues that I've been to, wineries, places, restaurants I like to go in the city, all over the country, hotels I've visited, um, think about parks, festivals that are going on. Like recently I was at the Philadelphia Flower Show and I know if I love going there, there's other girls that I want to work with that love going there too. So I search those geotags on Instagram and I go through and look at all the posts there because those posts are public profiles already. So I don't have to search through and think about who's private, who's public, and who do I want to speak to. Their posts are public. And the other thing I think about when I'm liking and commenting, if their page is not already like somebody I'd want to vibe with or teach, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to 531 them. Because I want to build coaches on my team that are not scared to share their life on social media. So if they are already sharing and they're already amazing at doing it, that's less that I have to teach. And y'all know you're busy. You don't have a lot of time. So think intentionally about who you are adding, not just adding to add, okay? Second thing you guys can do while drinking your glow juice, and I'm going to grab some more right now because I'm going to show you guys this is what it's like. All right, 10 minutes a day, I teach my coaches to interact on their stories. So a lot of times in the old school Beachbody way, we used to send hey girls on Facebook, right? And it was like, hey girl, how's your day? Like, where's that dress from? All right, so like people kind of sniff that out by now. So I take 15, two 15 minutes time slots. I'm being honest with you guys because I'm, I'm building a team, right? But if you're going to do this in 20 to 30 minutes, you can pick your 10 minute time slot and do this. And I literally shut off my notifications, shut off all the distractions, lock yourself in a room and spend 10 minutes, set a timer. Okay. Literally set a timer on your phone and just go interact on your stories with the intention of being kind, of giving compliments, of asking questions, of just being really super intentional with interacting with the people on your page. Now, I will say you better not be following other coaches because that's taking time away from your business, people you can help, and it's going to suck you into the deep, dark hole of like, what's going on with Melanie Mitro today and how is she sharing her kids' meals? Who the F cares? Sorry, not sorry, but she's not going to build your business. You are and the people that you can help. So you got to get all your coaches off your Instagram. Y'all, everybody should be public anyways. If you want to go have a list of coaches that inspire you, make a note in your phone and use them for inspiration once a week. But I don't even follow half of my own coaches because that's time away from people that I can help. So 10 minutes, kindness, compliments, interactions, questions, just being your genuine self so that you can have as many touch points as possible. So think about it. If 
I came to your page and I went through and I liked a bunch of photos. I asked you a bunch of questions. I followed you. Everybody likes good new follow, especially when there's somebody we actually want to be friends with. And then, oh, I'm going on your stories and giving you compliments there. Wow, this girl is actually genuine. She actually wants to spend time with me and she actually cares about me. She's not just like another spam marketer sending me like, here's my before and after photo, join my team invite. No. Because what happens then, and the next thing I'm going to tell you guys, an invite's not a spammy thing. Because I've already showed them I genuinely care about them. I genuinely am invested in their life and what they do on a a regular basis. So when I do the next thing I'm about to show y'all, it is not weird. It is actually expected because, oh, they already know what I do and they already know I'm consistent. So There's this fun thing that y'all should all have on your Instagram. So when you open up a message to somebody, and this is one of my coaches, so she's cool with it. When you click the plus sign on the bottom right side, there's um, two in from that. There's a little message thread with three dots. These are called quick replies, and these are your new best friends. So we all know we have to invite every day, right? We have to connect. We have to be organized. And I am like organized chaos and that's what my team knows like I'm on it but like sometimes I'm just all over the place so this is very helpful for me so every month I come up with a new invite that sounds like something I would actually say and I also keep things in here that for instance explain what is a coach or what is a challenge group right things you get asked all the time when you invite like tell me more about that You don't need to be typing the reply to that every single time. What you need to do is have quick replies that explain exactly what it is. For instance, I have one in here about, um, let's say, a video, right? We should be using third-party tools. When somebody asks you, what's Glow Juice? What's Energize? I'm not going to explain that that to them. I'm going to say, here's an awesome video. Check it out. Let me know what you like best about it. And so I'm not going to go copy-paste from my Google Doc. I'm going to have typing in P-E-R-F. That's like my quick reply, quick reply little thing. And when I type in P-E-R-F, the video for performance sign comes right up for me. So I don't even need to go anywhere outside of Instagram. It is just right there. I have the same thing with challenge group. I have the same thing with my invites. So when I say I invite like this, I get my 10 invites done in less than five minutes because I just type in A-P-R-I-N-V. April invite. For me, that works. You can name it whatever you want. And then each month you can change it. So be smart and intentional about your time. These quick replies are baller and you do not need to be copy pasting things. So think about the things that you continuously continuously explain over and over again and put them in your quick replies so they're there ready for you to just take action. So when you set a timer and you say, I have 10 minutes to do this activity, you do the damn thing and it's done. All right, the last thing I want to share with you guys that has to make all these things come to life is you got to be you. You got to be more than Beachbody. It is so easy to get in the mentality of like, well, I post my Energize, I post my Shake, I post my workout video, I did my little Flex Friday, I'm a coach. Y'all, think about it. The people that you are helping, if they are stuck If they feel like they can't fit in their summer clothes, if they feel like they don't have control over drinking or their nutrition, do you think that you posting your workout videos every single day and that's the only thing that you share, that's going to make them reach out to you? Maybe. But what's going to be more successful for you is to share the connective tissue that allows them to bridge the gap when they don't feel good about themselves. For instance... My team knows that Lily Pulitzer is like my jam. It is funny. Every success club trip I go on, I have one of y'all come up to me and you're like, you are so on brand right now because I love it. Like it's, it's my jam. It's a brand I stand behind. I shop there quite frequently. I use it a lot. Um, I push myself a lot in the coaching opportunity because I would love to go in the store and buy whatever I want. That's one of my goals. So you have to think about what are the pictures you're putting on your your page for Instagram and what are the stories that you're sharing? Are they all beach body or are you actually having connective tissue to the person that you want to help? I talk a lot about sports. I'm a big sports girl. Um, I also talk uh, like about the hard stuff. Like I did a video about dating this week. 
nothing to do with Beachbody, everything to do with the person that I want to help. Because I know I have a lot of single single girls on my team that feel like they're behind in life because all their friends are getting married and all their friends are getting pregnant. I know how to speak to that girl. And it takes courage to talk about that stuff. It is not fun for me always, but you have to share the seemingly insignificant things to allow people to be like, I like this girl. Like we can hang, we can get along, we can go to happy hour, we can go on a road trip and know that we can talk about anything in life. Um, So don't just post for Beachbody, post for you. And you have to think about it as like a storyline. So like bring your animals in, bring your kids in, be your real authentic self. I mean, for instance, this week, On my Instagram stories, I literally was drinking my superfoods in the morning. I do morning y'all videos. It's just this consistent thing I've built. And my team's like, when I was on the Success Club trip, they were like, you didn't do your morning y'all video. (laughs) So that's when you know you made it, I guess. But I had like superfoods in my teeth and I like picked the fruit out of my tooth in the middle of the video. Whatever. Be your authentic self because I don't, I don't ever want to be the person that like isn't her real Self, Because if I'm just portraying this perfect person on social media, how am I ever going to be able to hang out for a weekend with my coaches when we're on like a big diamond retreat? How am I ever going to be like, I I don't want to have this perfectionist mentality. I want to attract people that get me, that are me, that want to live and breathe our community and be here for life, not just for the next month. So I really challenge you to be yourself. And I know there's like all these avatar trainings and, um, you know, figure out who you are. You just have to start. Okay. And you have to stop being just a coach. You have to start being your authentic self and share the things that are more than your workouts. Cause yes, those are important, right? You want to show people behind the scenes and what you're doing, but get on your stories and just like share the things throughout your day. And it doesn't have to be all the time. I am not on my phone at work. I do my business in the mornings because that's when I'm most productive. And then I just share things throughout the day that, that speak to me in my heart. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Number one, new eyes. Number two, you got to interact and connect. Number three, use your quick replies. And number four, be yourself. You can totally rock this business in the cracks of your day and make it work for you. You just have to set what's your non-negotiable, what's your goal, and go make it freaking happen. Summit's coming fast, and there is nobody that's going to build this business for you but you. And so my biggest piece of advice is like, start doing the damn thing and see what happens and let yourself go all in with it because great things happen outside your comfort zone. I never thought in a million years I would ever make six figures part time as a coach and it's changed the trajectory of my life. It's changed the way I think, how I act, how I live. It's changed my friendships, my community. It's made this world bigger and it's just... It's selfish of you not to do the work because somebody out there on the other side of the screen needs you to show up as your authentic self. So get your glow juice, get your energized. You're going to be calling it glow juice now and set a timer and make it happen because y'all, you can totally do this. It's totally possible and proof of it and you can do it faster than me. All right. If this was helpful, let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys and go do the damn thing.